name translates to great race, but in the language of WRC, the Rally of Finland means simply speed. This is the fastest gravel rally of them all. But the cars often take to the air thanks to the flowing bumps or yumps that are driven over at full speed. Finland's a country that breeds top-class rally drivers, so it's no wonder that few outsiders ever win here. I unlocked the uh, secret code Helium for winning the Rally of Kenya. Also, I'm not sure why it doesn't say Finland or anything on the plaque. But whatever, that's fine. That's... We'll ignore that. I'm sure that was intentional. Yeah, I unlocked the secret code. I'm not sure what it does. It probably makes the cars really floaty uh, in the air. Uh, chances are I'll like never use those codes or whatever, but maybe I will one day because it's not like I'm going to delete this save file after I'm done uh, winning the World Rally Championship or anything. You know, I'm going to gonna hold on to this save file and see what happens with all the secret codes and stuff, but I probably won't record it. And if I do, I'll probably upload it on a different channel or something. Um... So yeah, Finland. We're getting into the stage of the 2002 Rally Championship where games that aren't officially licensed for rallying include this sort of rally. Because like for the first... Oh shit. Well, Finland, you got to be careful. Because for the, uh, the first sort of two rounds of the championship, uh, Monte Carlo and Sweden, they'll get included in uh, any non-licensed rally game. And then there'll be a huge gap of like until Finland until another rally is included because which is probably because a lot of the stages sort of in the middle and in the first half of a lot of the stages sorry a lot of the rallies are pretty samey like Acropolis Greece and Argentina were all pretty much identical and no one's raced professionally in Kenya since 2002 so that, that's probably the reason why those ones are left out. And then at the end of the championship, you get the, the meme rallies. You get, the, you get your Finlands, which is Lee Super Epic Fast One. And you get um, Australia, which is Lee Colin McRae Rally. And you get your um, Wales, which is Lee England. Which, I mean, Wales isn't even England, it's just the United Kingdom. Not that I have a problem with, uh, you know, sort of more local stuff being included in games. I'm a fan of that. You know, I liked it when Brands Hatch got into Forza 6. That was a that was a plus point on that game for me. Brands Hatch isn't really that good of a racetrack, but it's fun to drive, in my opinion. I've won there on a league race, so, you know, maybe that's clouded my opinion of Brands as well. Now, hopefully, because the Finland stages are supposed to be really fast, and because the uh, this game, you know, it's a PS2 game, it can't really support stages that are like 15 minutes long. So hopefully, well, I mean, the PS1 supported stages that were 15 minutes long in a rally game, but I mean, at the expense of like not just graphics but physics as well, uh, with Mobile One Rally Championship, which is a game I've got on PC. And we'll play at some point. Because even though my plan, my ultimate goal, my destiny, as it were, is to play console-based games, I'll probably end up playing a couple of PC games when I can't get the console ports. Uh, although, you know, I apparently, I might have found a way to be able to play PS2 games without even having to own the disc. Uh... I need to buy like a network adapter and some other stuff though, not, but I should be able to play um, ISOs on, on the actual PS2, which looks interesting and is something I'm going to look into once I have a job, because I've completely run out of money. So, I'm running, I'm pretty much running on fumes right now, so I'll have to wait until I get a job or something, which I really don't want a job. Jobs look shit. Every single job looks like fucking shit, but whatever. I'll find something. I think I've talked about this before, but like... 
something that sounds really comfy that I'd be able to deal with is like sitting at the cashier uh, spot at night on a petrol station. But, you know, and I, I don't even live in a bad area, so it's like it's not like that would be risky at all. So I mean, you know, that that sounds nice. I I might you know I might look into something like that. I don't know. The point is, I can't afford to buy anything right now. Like I need to be I need to be saving up to buy a new bike. I need to, I need ins I need insurance for a new bike. And this and that and the other. So like, you know, you know, it's it's a it's a cruel world out there for those of us that just want to collect shit games and then play them. The good news is I figured out uh, consoles that I don't need uh, to spend money on. I don't think I need a GameCube because pretty much every racing game that was released for the GameCube was cross-platform. Uh, probably apart from a couple of Mario Kart titles, but I don't count those as real racing games. And I've said this before, but I'll decide what counts as an actual racing game that goes towards the quest to play every racing game ever, and what doesn't. And Mario Kart and Crash Bandicoot Kart games and that sort of thing don't count. And Sonic All Stars doesn't count. You know? I, I, I decide what makes a racing game and what doesn't. And kart racing games tend not to make the grade. So I'm going to ignore those. Totally could have held it through there if I hadn't gone through the ditch on the inside. So yeah, I, I don't, I don't need a, I don't need a Dreamcast, and I don't need a PS One because I've already got a PS Three. I've got the Super Slim PS Three, but it's still a PS Three that can play uh, original PlayStation games. I think I said games really weirdly there for some reason, but whatever. I think that um. I think the Super Slim can play PS1 games. I have a PS1 game, so I should try it out. That would probably... Like, trying it out would probably be better than making some kind of claim. Because in my years of YouTube, I've made a lot of... I've made a lot of comments like that, where I say that I'll do something, and then I just don't do it. So, you know, I should probably... get on making sure I'm doing what I'm saying I'm going to do. As it were. And so I wasn't expecting Finland to actually be a fast flowing rally like it is here. Like it was it was on dirt three. But for fuck's sake. On the other uh, early two thousands rally games I've played, uh, which were Colin McRae Colin McRae four, I know I've driven at Finland on in my in, my, in some spare time. Uh, as well as, I want to say Colin McRae 3, but the point is, on those games, I'm just looking up at the shelf to see what other rally games I have, but there's not really that many. The point is that on other rally games that I've played at Finland, like, you know, it's supposed to be this super fast and flying rally, and then it ends up just being like pretty much every other stage, every other rally. I don't know why I keep saying stage instead of rally. I do. So I need to stop, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um. Yeah, so I'm not... I was, like, I've got... I, ha I do have Dirt Rally sitting up on the shelf now, and I'm going to start playing that later on. Because I want to get into that game and be good. Or at least see if it actually is just Dirt 3 with narrow stages. Uh, going into the Let's Play I have planned for it. Which won't be for a while. Because in terms of rally games. And I talk about this a lot, a lot. But might as well mention it again. But after I'm done with this game. I'm going to play Baja Edge of Control. I'm either... No, I'm, well, you know. I'm either just going to straight finish this game. And move on to Baja. Or I might... 
I might go back and finish the end of Rally Sport Challenge, but that's unlikely because of, you know, my feelings about Rally Sport Challenge. So, you know, probably won't end up doing that. But I'm going to play Baja as you control. Then I know I've got something lined up to play after Baja, but I can't remember what it is off the top of my head. It might be dark. It might. I'm. Shit. Well, I mean. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna go to a game, an off-road game that's not a rally game, uh, in Baja Control. Because it's a Baja game, obviously. And then, uh... Then I'll probably go back to doing rallying, but, you know, dirt rally. I don't want to leave it, I don't want to push it off for too long. So, actually, I might save playing that game until I start the Let's Play, maybe? But, I don't know. I'll probably... Because I want to have a look into it, so I probably will have a, a look into it, just because. And then Sebastian Loeb Rally Evo. I don't really have plans uh, to play that for a, a little while. So I might get into that in the meantime. Yeah. I'll play those pretty soon, I reckon. And then move on to the older games, sort of after. Like I said, I want to finish all the spin off games of the Dirt Rally Colin McRae series before I actually go into the main title, so I will do. I will do Dirt Rally before I play Dirt 3 or any of the Colin McRae games, or Dirt 2 or Dirt 1, I guess, because I have all of them. I don't have Colin McRae 2005, and I don't have the first two for PS1. Obviously, because I don't ha I don't even have a PS1. I only ever I've only ever had one PS1 game in my entire life, which is you know the very first uh, Bizarre Creations game, just called Formula One. Doesn't have a year. Well, I was slightly worried about that, but I held it together. Later on today as well, I'm kind of planning on finishing uh, Need for Speed in an upcoming segment of it. You know, just sitting down and playing that game for however long to finish it. But I'm only halfway through right now. And it's taken a little while. Like, I don't know, I don't know what 20 times 20 is, but it's a lot. So I probably couldn't finish that game in just one or two sittings. I'd have to sit down for a little while. I probably won't. I'm going to at least record like one or two episodes of it this week. Just because I want to. Because I got that I got that new Mitsubishi Eclipse. And I haven't driven it yet. So I want to at least have a go at that. Uh, I also got a Miss... I've also been playing Juiced. Uh, just sort of to play it. And that... That hasn't been going well at all. I'm not. I'm not good at Juiced at all. I keep losing bets because the game is rigged. And I tried to use that exploit that Black Panther talked about where you set up a drag race between Biggie and uh, TK and you just bet on Biggie because he wins every time and Biggie does not win every time. I know I've I made a, I made a mistake on at least one of them when they both had Corvettes but like one of them had 100 horsepower more than the other I decided to quit out of that and lost a, a grand on setting up that event. Uh, and also, but usually I get dicked over because they both choose the same car, and whichever one I bet on gets like rammed by the other one so that he loses when, you know, that's bullshit, but whatever. So I, I've, I've got, I literally ended up with $50 on that game, so... I need to, 
I need to get good at using that exploit before I do the let's play because you know I, I'm, when I when I eventually do get around to doing the let's play I'm not gonna rely on doing the um the exploit well it's sort of an exploit but it's also sort of a thing that's just built into the game that you can do so I'm really not doing well on this stage or something Yeah, like, um, like, I'm not going to rely on it for the Let's Play, but I might do it once or twice. A I might do it a few times off camera just to get money to do stuff because, you know, the at the start of the game, money's really not an issue because you start with, like, 40 grand and the start of cars are, like, 5 grand. So it looks like money won't be an issue for the whole game and then, like, you unlock the Mustang and it's, like, 60 grand. And you're like, I only just have that much money. So I'm I'm gonna do the um and like I was I was pretty desperate to get that Mustang. I really wanted it. So I'll probably end up uh, doing that a few times. I might accidentally lose all my money off camera, which would be embarrassing and not something that I really want to happen, but that's that's gambling, I guess. And it's not like I can't earn that money back through just racing, so I'll probably end up doing it a few times, at least, and then um, and then go from there. I reckon it would work. It works better the more money you have. So if I if I did it with loads of money and just bet all of my money on it, and I got the perfect, uh, I got the perfect setup for using it, which is where Biggie gets the um, the Viper, and TK gets the Corvette. And if I put like sixty grand on Biggie, that'd be a good. That would be a good turnout. I'd like that a lot. Uh, but you know, if it, if it didn't if it didn't quite turn out that way, then um, I, I'll be a little pissed. But I'll I'll try and make it work. I'll see if there's a guide that will tell you what to do. If like they both get Vipers or they both get Corvettes or something, there there should be something out there like that that will teach me how to get it every time. I don't want to rely on it for the for doing the let's play and stuff, but I'm going to do it a few times. And it's not like I'm planning on playing like actually, I don't know I don't know which day I'm going to do that let's play on. Like currently I have it listed as doing it on a Friday cuz I see it sort of as a street racing game, but all the streets are always um cordoned off, if you will. And there's no traffic and there's no um There's no like police or anything. And Juice 2 was all uh, circuit racing as well, like on closed off street courses. But that. Juice 2 is clearly a track racing game, not a street racing game. With Juice 1, I'm not entirely sure. I'll probably end up doing it on Fridays anyway, just as a street racing game, but I don't know if I'm entirely convinced. But yeah, I won't be doing it for a long time. So you know it's it's not really a, a hot talking point right now, but I gotta I gotta think of some commentary to keep you watching uh, these videos when they're sort of long. Because I'm not very good at uh, commentary for some reason right now. There were a couple of videos a while ago with uh, Need for Speed where I had I thought the commentary was really good and I was talking for the whole episodes about stuff that was like vaguely interesting and it, it felt good and I've never been able to replicate that because I I don't and I I really don't know how I managed it but I did it somehow and it felt good and I haven't been able to rekindle that so I just I just need to think of some hot talking points. Uh, to talk about. But ultimately, I can't really think of any. Oh shit. Just about. Oh fuck. 
Well, I cleared the rocks, so that's got to count for something. I did, I did, I mean, flipping over a couple of times, that was the style points. You know, I, I should still, I should still get recognized for my skills, even if I did roll it a few times, because it was for style, you see. It totally wasn't a mistake that I made, and uh, ended in me flipping the car, but whatever. Really doesn't give you that much time to correct your mistakes this game, does it? Although to be fair, that was probably because I managed to slide off the entire uh, model map. And it was like, yeah, we can't let you go any further than that, mate. But at least I haven't hit a single tree for this in... Well, I don't think I have. I haven't hit a solid tree this whole time. I know I've knocked down a bush or two. But I haven't gone flying off into the woods. Which is always a good sign for uh, rallying in Finland. Going off into the woods is like the opposite of what you want to be doing. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good thing that I haven't done that. I guess I'm spiritually Finnish. Although the guy I'm playing as is Finnish. So, oh hell yeah, we get a bonus stage, super special stage, a super, super special, because I'm pretty sure that, oh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter, the point is, spe super special uh, race of champion stage, hell yeah, let's do it, I haven't had one of these in a long time, can't remember when the last one of these was, actually, um, if you can remember, let me know. I'll tr I'll try and think about it, but I'm not sure if I actually. Oh, fuck. I'm not sure if I actually can. Well, that was just a wall tap. I don't know why. I... Oh fuck that. Probably because I thought I was going to spin round, because of the you know this game's uh, reliance on sticky barriers to try and keep you on the track and punish you for hitting the barriers and stuff, which I understand and can appreciate. Oh shit. I thought that corner was going to be nicer. I still can't hear the co-driver, I've got no setup to be able to hear what the co-driver is saying. And even if I put my head headphones on to listen to the Elgato recording, you know, um, that wouldn't really work out because it's on a delay. Oh shit, am I going to lose? Fuck, what happened there? Did I, did I, what? Alright, well, I'm not entirely sure what happened at the end of that stage, but... I guess I, oh, I came second. I came second to Richard Burns, by one second. Richard Burns Rally, allegedly, uh, one of the great rally games of our time. Oops. Which I've never played, but whatever. Next week, Germany. So this is the end of the finish rally. I'll finally show you what you get for... I've unlocked the bonus world one, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. I'm going to be honest. Um, I'll find out at some point. If I press continue here, it'll take me straight on to the rally of Germany. So luckily I did save so I can just quit out. Yeah, next week, Germany. I'm going to probably record some Need for Speed now, but that doesn't really matter to you.